down here in the southern starting location, we have the guy who might be the best at these little intro videos. He's you, pretty good. I report, you decide. I am Lucida. See? See? It's a very good movie right there. I love that little video about it. Yeah, that was a good uh, little video we had there. Now uh, to the north, we're going with Cardinal Directions. Brought my compass today. Today, mm -hmm. Alicia. For your sextant. Gonna chart some stars. Sextant. Gonna sail a boat. My sextant I took from Pirate Bird. <laughs> He doesn't use a sextant. And look at that. Oh, look at that. I've played StarCraft and I'm still watching. StarCraft is a meaning of life. I've never played StarCraft, but I'm here this watching. This is the truth. Spitting truth. StarCraft is the meaning of it life. Is. At least of my life, Tasteless. Yep. If now, there's anything else in life, I don't want to know about it. <laughs> Thank you, LG, Intel, and G-Skill for making this event possible. Mwah. You get a kiss. Oh, my tasteless, huge Angelina Jolie lips. Yep. And his gigantic Julia Roberts mouth. <laughs> yes. Now he makes a pylon here so that the hatchery cannot be planted. The probe goes, peace. Heads out. <laughs> it's like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Meanwhile, the drone's gone. The drone's oh, like, oh. Man. In a while, crocodile. Uh-oh, he's back for more. It's me again. Got a little something for you. Oh, no, he doesn't make the probe. Our pylon. My Yogi <laughs> Bear. <laughs> hey, boo-boo. <laughs> Let's grab some chicken and baskets and scram boo-boo. <laughs> Tasteless. What? I thought you were a nerd, but you're a nerd. I'm, no, I'm not a nerd. I'm a nerd. All right? <laughs> we'll leave that to the kids who are whining on the forums. I want an apology. Uh, now, um, <laughs> are we going to focus on this game? Uh, we got a uh, little Zelt going go right there. Thank That's you exactly where he fits. That's right. He fits right in there. Look, he can't fit behind there. Yeah, he can. We just showed you. Yeah. Let's trust us. Um, so, for the time being, I really want to know, is Alicia going to be good in split map PVZ? One thing that Protoss can do is take the gold base, and it's kind of difficult for Zerg to do a lot about it. They can try dropping and stuff like that, but... Yeah, it, around the time that uh, Protoss takes that gold base, if he can t tries to take that as his third, that's it can be pretty difficult. You know, you get a couple groups of roaches, you run them around. Uh, it's, yeah. It can be hard to actually zone properly. You're going to want at least a couple of observers out watching that stuff, so... I'm really interested to see what style Alicia uses here. That's... I'm like actually completely stoked to see. Is he going to go ahead and take a third in the back, kind of wall off with gates, macro up on three bases? Is he going to try to hit a timing attack? In my experience, when I actually take the gold base myself, I have had some, I got some very good players. When you start hitting the higher master ones, like high, high ones, I, I have a hard time holding that. Which base? The gold base. Yeah, it, it's, it's hard. It's pretty tough. Unless I did something like the when really they split up the roaches, up. man. It, if if I've held up an attack, like they did something weird, like I kind of set a bunch of lings and I killed everything, mm. then I can just take the gold base, but you never know. I've seen some very good players who can hold it. It all matters. Yep. Guys, get on the internet, spread the word about the GSL. It's actually quite important. Yeah, it's quite important that the GSL gets more if views. You don't Think of how much fun you're having right now watching these awesome games and talking with me and Tasteless. And imagine, there are nerds that aren't having the same fun. No, They man. deserve it. Don't worry, we're still going to pay attention to They're you. They're sitting around on Yahoo Games right now trying to have fun. <laughs> All right. Cheating at chess. <laughs> Using a chess spot. Getting the top rating. It's like, I know, dude, man. I'm like, seriously. man, listen, you need therapy. <laughs> yeah. All right, I like this build by Alicia. He is following up with his uh, Stargate. Whereas, Musira uh, getting his Roach Warren, getting his Evolution Chamber out pretty quickly. I'm like, just so excited. Is Lucira going to do another pressure? It looks like he is. He's making six roaches right now. In fact, Tasteless, thank you for asking. No problem. You know, I ask the tough questions. Um, <clears throat> you softball him to me, man. Softball him to you? Yeah. You know the talking points. You t ball him to me. <laughs> it's like, you miss that, man. Oh, he's supply blocked. <sighs> yeah, that's going to be six bad. Six roaches are out. Now, Four more in, on the in way. In my experience, I do, I do what Alicia's doing. I've talked about this before with the Void Ray and the Phoenix, and I lose to this build. Um, unless I can actually try to target fire a roach in the back that's not taking damage and get the void rate charged up. 
Do you think it would be easier than that, but when all your stuff's attacking at once and there's all this micro going on, um, it can be tough. Well, man, here we go. We have 10 roaches on the way, a ton of speedlings coming in as well. There is one cannon that should be warped in as the battle starts. There are six sentries, one zealot, a void ray on the way. I think he realizes exactly what's happening. That void ray is rallied out. He's going to want to make another void ray if possible, but he's got to spend. Oh, no. Uh, he doesn't, oh, he know, doesn't know. He doesn't he know. He does. He has no idea, man. This is, this is bad news bears for Alicia. This build is so ridiculously hard to stop. We'll see. Can he do it? The roach is coming right up. And you know, one sentry get... almost down. Down it goes, but it lays his force shields first. That's important. He can just get this pile on here. More and more Zerg. No, nope. on on the way. And Good uh, force fields. But here's the thing. These links are going to loop around here. There's only so many force fields left. That's right. And uh, bam. He's just like, but it's enough. But is it enough? Because he's losing all his force fielders. Okay, now the, the uh, Void Ray is out here a little bit later. He is focusing on one. No, no, he must focus. His attacks a different Roach. And finally, it's all charged up now. But, you know, was oh, it man. enough time? You might want to just target that Nexus from here, Taste. Let's kill off that Nexus. Yeah. Gotta kill the Nexus at least. And during this time, by the way, Lucira's third has already hatched. I mean, he is like infinity ahead. That's GG. it. GG. We've been telling you guys about that build a little bit. If you the haven't prophecy. seen it before, oh, that's right, Lucira. If you haven't seen it before, here it is. Lucira, happy as a peach, as a clam. Not one of those Alicia. clams that's going to be eating nice little pearls yeah, and man. taken away. Uh, clams that gets to keep the pearl. Uh, so you got to admit uh, that was an impressive oh, series, deep showing bow. some respect. And you got him, man, because now Alicia... Tastes with it, tastes with it, or a tomato with that, but... Here's the, here's the thing about Alicia. Alicia is like a round of eight player, in my opinion. I think he's someone he that is. can make the round of eight, but he hits someone that can hit the round of four or the finals. I think so. Now, I, I'm going like to call right here. Top, top I think he's going to be in the final four, at least. Yes. I don't um, even care who he's fighting against. Like, yeah, I don't care. Lucira's care. too good, man. He just doesn't lose games. You gotta get this thing stabilized. People get bumping. You have actually, thing. like... I've actually saved the day with this prop multiple times. We're casting it. Go like that and save it. You know, in the games, I actually lean on this, too. It's actually pretty comfy, so is I it? want that thing to fall. It is. You're a little bit too far away to do that. I got long arms. You do. Not as long as me, man. No, I'm man. Like, I'm like dull. No, I'm not man. an orangutan. <laughs> um, so, we have finished up today's games. Very entertaining games. Really good TVTs as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was a very good day of games. You know, uh, Lucera really showcasing this very powerful build. Let's yeah. get that on all over the ladder. Yep. The so meta game is let's shifted ruin yet again. ZVP into just this build. <laughs> yep, let's do that. Uh, that's actually a very good build to copy, though. Oh, it because is. It's so good. It's high you economy. It. You just have to know how to move the zerglings in there the right way, and then if your roaches are kind of pushed out By the, the way, back, what to target fire? I got to give them a tip because I just like poisoned the ladder. <laughs> Guys, if this keeps happening to you, just get your second gas before your core and go DT rush. It's like laughable. Is it? You clean up in like two seconds. They're on. They're on hatchery tech. That's true. That, ooh. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Enough of your amazing advice on uh, to the results for today. Take it away, OGS Artosis. top 2-0 to oh over Supernova. OGS Nada 2-0 to oh over MVP Genius. SCFOU 2-1 to one over Pulp Crimes. And I'm Lucira, never Lucira. 2-0 to zero against Slayers Alicia. So, um... You know, Code the, 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 I'm like, actually, we're going to have Code A tomorrow. Code A tomorrow. Violet versus Yu Gi Oh! Min against MVP. Holy Tamoli. Both those guys should be in Code S. Damn. Bonbons against Keen and Coca against Noble Less. That's actually a really good day of matches, guys. You better tune into that. You better tune in, or else you're a bad person. So, Saturday, and this is not going to be at our normal time, which is we're normally coming on at about 610. It's going to be 210. Korean Standard Time. Go to timeofdate.com. You need to get that converted, all right? All right, I know some of you nerds sweating trying to figure that out. Uh, we're going to have TSL Clyde against TSL Killer. SD Virus against OGS Inca. I'm ST against The Fruit Dealer. Sick. And finally, Any Pro Prime against July Zerg. It's going to be quite a day, Artosis, my nerd brother. It is. I cannot wait for that day. Clyde versus Killer, who do we root for? I don't know. I. I There's actually, no right answer. I actually don't know with that one. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, those guys also teammates as well. So, it'll be interesting. But, again, it's not at the normal time. I don't know why. People, we always say this in the cast, but people still tweet at me like, I missed the games. Different time here. We want to hit different 
uh, demographics of people also who have different Saturday. jobs and stuff like that. It's Saturday, man. You don't want to do it at night. Yeah, man. We don't want to do it at night. Yeah. We have. By you, I mean we tasteless. We have drinking me. to do, yes. Uh, um, I have StarCraft games to play at night. I normally play during the day, but I play at night on Saturdays. <laughs> Sometimes you do. Sometimes we attack the bars. Sometimes we, we do. We expand the bar and build cannons there. What um, do you do, Tasteless, when you uh, when you see a cute girl at the bar, bartender? What do I do? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about that time <laughs> when I had to pay the bill. I, in, instead of signing my name for the debit card thing, I drew a heart. <laughs> You did. That's what I did. It was like it was so I funny. Saw. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be back, guys. Um, it's Saturday, two ten. Don't miss it, and please tune into Code A. This has been the GSL.